You might be surprised what the narcissist is actually thinking when they hear you talk. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from narcissistic people in your life. Basically what I'm saying here guys is the narcissist doesn't hear you at all. Okay, they hear what they want from you, they hear what they need from you, they hear what they can use against you, and they hear what it is they think you're saying when they feel like it's attacking them that they can get defensive about and use as a way to manipulate and gaslight to get away from it. Okay, you guys, so when you're talking to a narcissistic person or someone who is just highly manipulative in your life, do you ever notice how like you'll be saying something and they'll shut the conversation down. Let me give you an example. Narcissistic people, when they feel threatened and when they feel cornered or trapped or the devaluation cycle has started in a relationship and they can no longer idealize the way they used to, they are also always looking to make sure they are not seen as bad, they are not being criticized. They don't want you to make them out as being wrong. Does that make sense? And once this devaluation cycle starts, the gaslighting intensifies. So from this point forward in the relationship, most likely they are always on the defensive and they hear everything that you say as something to battle. So for example, you might say something like, you know, it really hurt me when I found out about the plans after everybody else. Like you told everybody else who's going first and you didn't even consult me about whether I wanted to go or not or whether or not we want, I was gonna do this thing with you. And the narcissist might reply, you always accuse me of everything. Stop controlling me. Why do you have to control every situation? I can't talk to you 24 seven. It's just that I saw them first. I was talking to them and so we made plans. What's the big deal? And so you'll continue trying not to start an argument because you see it coming, you feel the tension. And you might say something like, well, okay, I'll try to be open and listen to what you have to say here, but it does hurt me that it, nothing's discussed with me before the plans are actually made. And they might come back again with a repeat of something like, you need to control everything, don't you? And to that, you might start feeling reactive or start feeling attacked and say, what? Or if you're trying to gray rock or yellow rock, what? What? I just like to know what's going on. Is that so wrong? What? I just want to be part of making the plans. And so you see, you start defending yourself. You start questioning. Instead of them answering the first question or speaking to your pain, which is what you were trying to discuss in the first place, they now make it about something else. And when you say that to them, they might say something like, look, it's not my fault you weren't there when I was talking about making these plans. So they've, again, dismissed your feelings about the situation. Okay, and let's keep going. And so you might try to diffuse it and say, look, okay, let's just move past this. In the future, could you please discuss things with me before making plans? I'd appreciate it. And instead of agreeing to this or having a discussion about it, which is the whole thing you're trying to talk about in the first place, right? They'll shut it down again. I do talk to you, they might say. You're the one who doesn't listen. I talk to you all the time. Back and forth. What's happening is the narcissist isn't listening to you. What they're listening to is a way to defend everything they do against you. They're listening for the key pain that you're feeling in order to combat it, in order to use it against you, in order to flip the words so that they can escape accountability and not have to deal with your emotions. Is this familiar? Let's keep talking about other ways narcissists might hear you. You know, when you're telling them a story, they are not listening. They're listening for a way to talk about themselves. Have you ever noticed when you're telling someone that is highly narcissistic a story that it's almost like as soon as they hear something that they can relate to or that they connect with about them, suddenly you find yourself talking about them or more like listening about them and how they can't listen if it isn't something that relates directly to something they're interested in or something that they've done in their life or how they'll take your story that is completely unrelated to them and find a way to tangentially talk about something that is about them. Yeah, narcissists love to talk about themselves like this. I mean, basically what I'm saying here is a narcissist listens to you from self-interest. They listen to you either for a way to deflect and a way to shift the blame onto someone else, onto you, or a way to avoid something that you're saying to them, something about your feelings, your wants, your needs, whatever in the relationship, or they're listening to you for a way to continue on with the dialogue that's probably going on in their head 
about themselves. They are not listening to communicate on a deeper, higher, more connected level. Some of the things they might hear give them nothing but feelings of annoyance. They don't want to deal with your feelings. They don't want to deal with your hurt. They don't really care if they hurt you or if the things they're doing affect you. They don't want to hear it. It's annoying to them. It's trivial. It's boring. If it's something about your suffering, about something that you've experienced in life, like something bad that happened during the day or something that your past traumas or your tragedies or anything that's happened to you, dismissal. Okay. If they are listening, be careful because what they're doing is getting information and gathering that information to turn around and use it against you later. But when they're used to you and they're used to your stories and they're used to who you are and they're no longer trying to groom you, it's dismissal. They don't care about what hurts you. They're like, "Mm mm-hmm. If you're sick, if you're not feeling well, "Mm mm-hmm. Okay. They don't care. Dismissal. That's all they're hearing is you complaining. What they hear when you're speaking gives them feelings of devaluation. If it's anything to do with your vulnerability, what they're listening for is weakness, okay? They see vulnerability as things to use against you. Remember that vulnerability is nothing more than open-hearted sharing. It is not weak. It is not strong, okay? It takes strength to be able to share vulnerability for sure. But with a narcissist, what they're doing is they're taking that information and using it against you. They're devaluing you through the things that are sensitive for you. When something is said to them, like I, the example I gave earlier, it's complete full-blown deniability. I did not hear you. Of course I heard you. I can repeat every word you said. Yeah, but you're not listening to what I said. What do you mean I'm not listening, right? So there, it's deniability is the way that they're listening. Any of this familiar, let me know in the comments, okay? And let's keep talking about this and check out the next video for more information on healing from toxic narcissistic people.